From fighting cancer, to giving sight to the blind, to making the lame walk again, Israel is leading the world in medical innovation. Every day, millions of Americans use some kind of medical treatment that came from Israel. From Sambucol, a cold and flu medicine made from elderberries, to amniocentesis, used to detect prenatal abnormalities. There's a wireless laser that will someday replace the dentist drill and the pill can, a tiny camera and a capsule. It takes pictures from inside your colon, eliminating the need for a colonoscopy. Millions and millions and millions of these procedures are done every year. What if you could make them painless, pain-free, and non-invasive, and take a lot of the risk out of that procedure? That's a classic Israeli solution to a problem. In the field of medicine, finding a cure for cancer is one of the biggest goals. And although a full cure is still in the future, Israeli scientists are making huge advances. The news is full of stories about dogs who can smell everything from epilepsy to cancer in their owners. So one scientist took that idea and refined it. If the dogs can smell cancer, we for sure can do it in a little bit more sophisticated way. We can communicate with the device much better than we can communicate with the dog. Hossam Haik developed an early warning system for cancer. The nano artificial nose can detect tumors before they're even visible on x-rays, just by analyzing a patient's breath. The device can give the results within five minutes to one hour, more or less. Many diagnostic tools require to swallow a radioactive or active material into, uh, in order to make the diagnosis possible. We don't expose it to any risky x-rays or beams that might make cancer by themselves. The artificial nose is still in clinical trials where the accuracy rates range from 86 to 97 percent. And it's also being customized to sniff out other diseases as well, like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and multiple sclerosis. Our ultimate vision is to bring uh, this device in an inexpensive and very portable way to everybody whether these people live in the Western countries or they live in the third world, because we believe that we have to fulfill a little bit democracy. Other Israeli scientists are focusing on the treatment of cancer, and they're doing everything from burning tumors with thermal heat to freezing them with liquid nitrogen. One doctor is even developing a vaccine for cancer. The Emucin vaccine trains the body's immune cells to attack a specific molecule found only in cancer. And since only the cancer cells are targeted, the vaccine has no side effects like chemo and radiation. With one shot every few months, the body's immune system will keep it under control. We're just educating the immune system to do what it, you know, would try to do itself. We're not inventing anything. In the first clinical trial, the vaccine successfully triggered the immune system in all 15.